Today I wanted to share with you how to prepare assets for Adobe After Effects in Illustrator and we're going to just focus on simple shapes. So to begin with you probably want to create a file that is the size of the stage that you're going to be working with. So I've already done this obviously. Um, here's a default video size that we're going to be using in our project. This is a um, standard video size and that's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. Make sure that you're not working in inches or you're, of course you're going to have a re <laughs> gigantic file if it's you know a thousand, 2,000 inches. Also you want to make sure that you've selected RGB and not CMYK. Most video programs are going to require RGB and you actually will lose colors if you use CMYK. You can just go ahead and name this and off you go. So here it is. I'm seeing it at 56% which means I'm not seeing the whole thing. I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit and at 50% I can see the whole thing. So I wanted to share with you one other thing and that is that if you want to use your alignments from Illustrator then go ahead and set things up. For example, let's say I wanted to use a black square. So I'll make my color black, no outline, and say I wanted it to be in the center of my stage and to be a very specific size. Well, I would just hold down the shift key, make it the size that I want. Let's say I want it at 150 pixels. I can use the little um, reader right there, or I could always use the transform to make sure it's the size that I want. And then, assuming I want it to be in the center of my stage, the easiest thing is to use the alignment menu. However, you need to go into show options and that will allow you to align it to the artboard or to the selection if you had multiple objects. So I'm going to align it to the artboard and just center it. So now I've got a nice centered black square and I can just go ahead and save that if I want to. But because I was trying to avoid having you watch me draw which is about as interesting as watching paint dry. I went ahead and just created a bunch of shapes and a couple of things that will really help you when you go into After Effects is you can see here that I've named each layer and again I haven't aligned these but let's say I want to align them all to the center all but say the squiggle. So let's I can just select each item and do the same thing align it to the stage and this way when I go to work with it in After Effects. I don't have to do the alignment there. I could, but this is just saves me a step there. In fact, I think I won't align this one. I'll take care of that in After Effects too. So here's my shapes. They're aligned in the center. Assuming this is how I want my composition to begin or whatever in After Effects, I want to keep this positioning. So I'm going to go ahead and save as and we mostly just want to use the Illustrator file format. That some of these will work, but this is just fine, so let's go ahead and save that. And when the options come in, we do want to have these default items checked, the PDF compatible, the profiles, and the compression. And let's just say OK. And we're ready to bring it into After Effects almost. I'm going to go ahead and hide Illustrator here. and. I also want to hide After Effects for a moment because before you bring anything into After Effects, what you're want, going to want to do is create a project folder. So this is my project folder. Let me just call it Shape Projects. And inside that folder, I want to have an asset folder. And I want to keep any assets that I think I might use in this folder. And then I'll save my project just out here. The reason is that if I need to move this project from say my hard drive to a jump drive or whatever, if you have the assets move away from the project in any other file structure, they will break apart. You'll have to relink them and it's not the end of the world, it's, it just creates more work and if you have a very um, elaborate project it could be kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> So I've got my Shapes AI 
in my assets folder I'm ready to go into After Effects. So here is my After Effects. Let's just go ahead and say File, Import File. I don't even have to say multiple files, just File. And I'm going to find my way to my folder. Here's my Shapes Project folder. And inside the Assets, here's my Shapes AI. Now to get everything in alignment, I want to bring it in as a composition and unless I want to have everything using the entire stage area as its central point, I want to use the retain layer sizes. So I'm going to say open that here's all my layers, the arc, square, etc, etc. And it actually went ahead and made a composition for me. So let's open up this composition. And there it is with everything, including the black square that we can't see. So I'm going to go into my composition settings and I'm just going to choose a gray color so that you can see the black square. So there's everything and true to form it's again larger than I can see in my window. But let's make it 50%. So what's really nice is it's kept everything in its position and when I look inside the composition everything is on its own layer ready to go. Don't forget to save your project into your project folder. Shape project and that's a dot AEP. It'll add that on After Effects project. Save. So we'll continue in the next video um, about how to begin to animate.